In a primary just two months away, the battle for who will represent the Wiregrass in Congress is heating up. Region boundaries are now putting pitting two congressmen against each other. And as WDHN's Robert Smith tells us tonight, accusations are flying over who's conservative enough and who's more community minded only on WDHN. Two incumbents, 1st Congressional District Representative Jerry Carl and 2nd Congressional District Representative Barry Moore, are now fighting for one spot to represent the newly drawn District 1, a chance to represent both of their home districts. The new map that was selected by federal judges in October of last year cuts six wiregrass counties from District 2 and loops them in with Mobile counties. The most interesting thing for me looking at the district itself is it went from the 75th most conservative to the 6th most conservative in the nation. Well, you know, no one likes it. No, no yeah, it, it's... Uh... It is what it is, though. We've got to work with it. So I, we're, we're going to make the changes. I'm loving it over here in the Wiregrass. Both of the incumbents have been representing their respective districts since 2021. Adding in the Wiregrass now as a part of District 1, Representative Carl doesn't view the primary as a uphill battle. He says their voting patterns are similar, but it's a battle of defining the differences. I'm more of a community-involved type person. I want the entire community involved in, in what I'm doing and what I can do for them. And of course, Barry is not. My Liberty scores are 96 and my opponents is in the 70s. And when you look at this district, how conservative it is, you know, it just makes sense again that we can represent that district. But also, I'm the only veteran in the race. I grew up with Fort Rucker, now Fort Novacell, in my district my whole life. So I understand this district so very well. But if you just look at the constituent services, the cases, we've solved 4,000 cases in 36 months for veterans, IRS issues, passport issues. Representative Carl, the Mobile native, says if he gets the nod to represent the new first district, which includes the Wiregrass now, he claims his hometown area would not get all the support. In fact, the Dothan area has the largest population in the new district. You've been getting the crumbs for the last three years, just for the record. You've got no community projects that have been brought to this district, and that's for a reason. Uh, my, my districts have gotten millions upon millions of dollars worth of community projects. Congressman Moore says he's involved with the community. He's held 14 town halls over the last 36 months, has congressional district offices in various small towns, and he has sponsored bills bringing companies like Airbus to Mobile. He says he supports community projects by helping with the grant process, but he's not big on spending government funding on projects. I'm not a big pork barrel guy. The people in, in, in Alabama and in the country are looking at me going, Barry, why is inflation eating our lunch because of this runaway spending? I'm not going to sell the soul of this nation and our sovereignty for 30 pieces of silver. Reporting Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.